Today I'd like to welcome Jeff Ward, Director of Public Sector Sales, FiberLink. Uh, Jeff, thank you very much for taking the time out. Uh, if you could tell both the GTRA audience and CIO's own audience a little bit more about FiberLink and uh, your role within FiberLink and where you see FiberLink moving towards in the future time period. Uh, FiberLink provides a visibility and control platform for mobile endpoints. So the idea is they put our software on a laptop uh, so that when that laptop leaves the agency network, be it for normal or traditional travel, or these days in a telework environment or COOP, which we all are talking about quite a bit in the federal space, that that device, even when it's off the agency network, certainly not physically connected, but now not even virtually connected, it can remain in compliance, FISMA and FDCC compliance, uh, even when off net. Our software provides a layer of uh, security enforcement, frankly from startup to shutdown, running as a service. Then once it senses IP, uploads uh, compliance information set by policy by our customers to a portal that we host in the cloud so that the agency has secure visibility into those devices to see what's on them or not on them and then use their existing tools to, to take action. If they want, they can actually leverage our platform to not only provide the visibility information but also the control piece and fix those devices in the cloud without having uh, even virtual connectivity. So it extends their existing policies and procedures and the investment that they've made in device and data application tools out into the cloud or what we call the mobile blind spot that these days is becoming uh, more of a problem as people are looking at emails on handhelds or web enabled applications that don't require a virtual connection back to the network and, and the agencies from what we're hearing are, are losing control of those users. We've been providing this in the uh, enterprise world for over 15 years. Customers include Bank of America, GE, Toyota, Shell, Bayer, Pfizer. So there's not too many of the global 2000 who don't use our service in some aspect. That's, that's great, Jeff. Um, in terms of the future for FiberLink, where do you see FiberLink uh, down the road here and, and uh, what developments are on the horizon? Well, what's been interesting is FiberLink is relatively new to the federal space. Um, things like wireless and mobility and certainly cloud computing haven't really been talked about in, in Washington until the new administration has come. Now everybody's talking about cloud computing. So we feel very uh, fortunate and, and, and well placed to have, have a out of the box, what I like to refer to as cloud computing light. We're not hosting data, we're not hosting applications or private information. So we feel like we're well positioned um, as the, certainly the civilian agencies are embracing cloud computing and pushing towards teleworking for green initiatives, and, uh, et cetera, uh, to help them embrace cloud technology. Uh, so we see that business growing exponentially. And even frankly, DOD and Intel, which at first glance you would think mm, may not be that interested in leveraging the public internet, there's more and more opportunity there as even DOD, uh, and, and when they're involved in HATER, the humanitarian assistance and disaster recovery, having to communicate with NGOs outside of their private clouds, they're going to need to traverse the public internet and we provide a platform to do that safely and securely. So we see a huge opportunity there. And in terms of the future, um, the vast majority of our business now is our laptops, but we've got handheld plugins coming out next year with all, of course, the, the, the best in breed providers. So as the devices change in a very fluid environment, we'll be right there to, to support both federal and enterprise customers. Well, thank you, Jeff, for taking the time out, and uh, we look forward to hearing more about FiberLink, both in the public and private sector. Thanks very much.